Hi, I'm Carrie Marsh from Sweet Potato Chronicles, and we're so excited to be partnering with CityLine on this new series called Dinner SOS. Each week we're going to be in the gorgeous Chatelaine kitchen powered by GE Cafe, and we're going to be bringing you recipes that solve some of your biggest dinnertime dilemmas. So our first dilemma is the need for speed. And our recommendation when you're in a bind for time, which is, let's face it, all the time, is to think about eggs, because eggs will almost always save your life. They're versatile, they're easy to cook, and they're super fast. So what I'm gonna make today is something called a Mexican egg bake. My family loves it. It's just a zesty tomato and black bean sauce with eggs cooked right on top, and it takes about 30 minutes. So to get started, we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil, maybe a teaspoon, in our pan. And we're just gonna add one chopped onion, and say two or three minced garlic. And you're just gonna put that over medium heat in your saucepan. Be sure that you're using a saucepan that can go in the oven because that's where this is gonna end up. So we're just gonna let that soften up. Now I'm gonna add my spices and I've got a teaspoon of cumin. Which one? Whoa! A teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of cayenne or red chili flakes, and a teaspoon of dried oregano. It's a really good idea to cook your spices in the pan before you put any of your wet ingredients in for a few minutes. Really let them cook. It'll totally change the flavor of your cooking to do that. And it only just takes an, a little minute. It's sort of the difference between that raw, yucky, raw cumin flavor and a delicious, smoky flavor. Okay, and once that's nice and soft, we're gonna add a 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes. and an 18 ounce can of drained black beans. Just get them in there and give it all a stir. Now you could absolutely use the back of a wooden spoon to break up the tomatoes or you could be a daredevil like I am and use a potato masher. Nothing does the job better and you just have to go slowly so that you don't splatter your clothes. But once you try this you'll never go back. It works so well. And I don't know why the can of uh, diced tomato don't taste the same as whole, but they just don't. So do this. So once that's all mashed up, you're just gonna let that cook and thicken up for about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so now we're ready for our eggs. We're just gonna crack eggs right on top of the sauce. Don't worry that it's gonna seem like they're kinda going everywhere. It's gonna work, I promise. Uh, and what is so great about eggs anyway? Well, we love them because it gives you an opportunity to make a meal meatless, which we really like to do at least once a week for our families. Eggs are a great source of protein. There's six grams of protein in each egg. And there's also something called choline, which is a nutrient that a lot of us are lacking in. And it's super important for brain function. And <clears throat> who doesn't need more of that? Okay, so I'm just gonna do five eggs today because that suits my family, but you could add another guy in the middle. And then we're just gonna pop that in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. Watch them at the end because most people are pretty particular about how they like their eggs. Okay, and I think we are ready. Here is our lovely Mexican egg bake. Now I would serve this with um, some grated cheddar, some sliced avocado, some sour cream or Greek yogurt, and some um, chopped cilantro, but you should do what your family likes. It's so delicious and so, so fast. So let us know if you try this recipe, and we'll see you next time.